Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Sean from Play by Pause. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry for keeping you guys waiting. It has been a week um, after my last video. Um, it's not an easy video for this second video, so it takes a bit of time for it. So today we're gonna talk about how to film yourself. Some people like me curious about how those YouTube creators film themselves without any helps. Getting those creative angles, telling the story by themselves. So I did some research and I decided to make one of it. First thing first, I would like to break down this video into three parts. The first thing, what's the gear that I'm using? Second, what's the story that I want to tell? And the third, how to be creative. So let's talk about the video. The first thing is my main camera, which is A7 III. This is A7 III. Uh, it shoots 4K 30 frames per second, full HD 60 frames per second, and 130 frames per second, which is awesome for slow-mo. Uh, and it's lightweight and it's small, so it basically you can just carry it all day without any issue and it comes with a very 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 nice and fast autofocus which is very important for this project the second item that I use is my GoPro 6 which is this little thing uh, it's not the latest version but it works fine for me um, recently I fell in love with this little device because it always gives me the freedom to place it somewhere crazy fun some weird location that my A7 III can't really put the image quality of this thing is not as great as A7 III but because of the wide point of view, it kind of creates some interesting B-roll sequence in the story. Aside from the camera, the equipment is essential as well. The next item is a very basic equipment that I believe everyone that's into filmmaking or photography own it. Yes, it is a tripod. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys the tripod because I believe most of people know how it looks like so we're going to skip this item. Next. This item is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a motorized slider. Uh, this thing called Yolangu L4. As you can see, it's a very lightweight, sturdy motorized slider. Um, basically, you just have to place this thing on a smooth surface and then turn on the device and we just slide. That's it. Based on Google, this thing has a max load capacity of 3kg. Uh, I've been using this thing for my A7 III with Tamron 7028 or my Sony Macro 90mm. So far, I have no issue, so I think this thing holds up pretty well. The only downside for this device is the noise of the motor. Um, you can barely use the video audio if that's the thing that you're concerned. So, yeah. Last but not least, my lens choice for these projects. Uh, the first one will be my 35mm Sony 1.8, my Sony 85mm 1.8. Macro 90mm uh, Tamron 7028 which I'm filming right now so I can't show you guys that and that's about it Next, the story I'm from Malaysia so if you're Malaysian who are watching this video I believe you already know some of us are able to work at the office with some rules so I thought it'd be interesting to show how I go to the office with the new rules The last part, creative How to tell a story in a creative way a way that we normally don't see. So let's just jump right into the behind the scene. So for the first shot, I go with the established shots where I drive into a car park. As you can see, I place my camera with my 85mm far away from the entrance so that I can get a long shot. A long shot tends to give a more spacious feeling. Uh, at the same time, isolate all the unnecessary stuff from the frame. FYI, this shot was done by autofocus and it was perfect. Next, I thought it would be nice to get a wide angle shot with a slider. So this motorized slider comes in handy. The first thing that I do is I compose the frame that I want. Next, I set the speed of the slider. Third, I just rent the car and drive into the frame repeatedly until I get it right. Next is a shot that I always wanted to create. Uh, basically, I use a GoPro and attach on the side of the car where I can get kind of a low angle POV shot of a view. After getting all these creative shots, I thought it would be nice to go back to the basic of filmmaking. So all this shot was easily done by setting my camera on a tripod and putting the GoPro on the car hood. I think it's enough for me to show how I drive around the car park. So I decided to park my car to the spot that I want. The car park itself doesn't have a very ideal light source. So I decided to use my own light setup. 
Uh, for this setup, I'm using a one SLB 60W, the one that I used for my previous video. This LED comes in very handy for this kind of situation because it uses battery instead of just relying on AC plug, which is very convenient for places like this where we can't really find uh, wall plugs. After setting up the lights, I manually set the focus to the headlights, and then I try to stop the car where it hits the desired focus point that I want without hitting the camera. For the next sequence, I'm going to show how I turn off the car. For first shots, I use a 35mm with the motorized slider on a car hood. So it can kind of give like a more cinematic pan shot. Next part is fun yet tricky because I need to shoot myself inside the car in a very limited space. It sounds a bit hard yet I really think this is the most fun part of this whole video. I can kind of force myself to be more creative, I can shoot whatever that I want, I can get some macro shots of the car details, I can get some wide angle, low, low wide angle shots of the handbrake, I can get a fast handheld shots movement. Basically, I need to shoot as much as possible so that I have more options during the edit because I know this sequence is going to be fast. After all the crazy shots, I thought it would be nice to slow things down. So for the next shot, I use a gimbal. Uh, I place the gimbal on the ground and then I lift the gimbal up when the time I close the door. Somehow this shot give an unpredictable result for the audience because I never used a one take shots before this. Next, I just do a quick pan so that I can transit to this shot where I click the lift button. Nothing fancy for this sequence. As I mentioned earlier, I want to slow things down. Um, so I just set the tripod inside the elevator. I walk into it and then I do some several cuts of me waiting inside the elevator. Next, I use my gimbal again to create these follow shots of me walking. This shot might look impossible for one man show, but surprisingly, you can do it by yourself. First, set your gimbal to invert mode and then choose your gimbal mode to lock mode. Use a wide angle lens with some patience and try and error. I believe you can get this result by your own. Next is a POV shot of me walking to the door while pulling out the key. In a traditional way, you just pull out the key in a normal way. Uh, but I thought it would be boring, so to spice things up, I thought it would be nice to add spinning actions while I'm pulling out the key. Uh, the result looks quite interesting, so I think it works. As for the end shot, I thought it would be nice to show the interior of the studio. So I use a wide angle lens and a motorized slider. By doing that, I put the slider on a long table so that I can get a long slide shot from the entrance to the interior of the studio. Last but not least, I light up the studio with two light setup, the SLB60W and also LC500. The very main reason I'm using these two lights is because of the wireless control, so that I can kind of trigger on the lights while I'm walking into the studio. So that's about it, hope you guys liked the video. These are tips and tricks on how to film yourself to the office. And I hope this video motivates you to create more during this period of time. I must say it's not easy to create everything by yourself, but trust me, you'll learn a lot during this process. Me, myself, learn a lot. So don't find any excuse not to create. And I'll see you guys in the next video.